Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. In this video, we will talk about the Core 4 Challenge, which is a challenge within the Deep Zone Crypt Raid. This challenge is, is interesting in that if you master the method for doing this challenge, you actually can have easier clears for the boss Tanix. If you like this video, feel free to like it and subscribe to my video. That really helps me out. So first off, this method varies from what you've traditionally done within Tanix. You know, within Tanix where you do the all three roles, the scanner, operator, and the suppressor. In this method, where again, it's actually easier if you get the timing down, you don't necessarily have to use all the roles. And let me explain that really quickly. So as normal, you will have a suppressor and the suppressor's job is very, very important. You will have an operator and their job is extremely important. The one thing you're not going to worry about is scanner, but you still want to pick up the buff and I'll explain that why in a little bit. So do the encounter as normal, you know, go to your respective areas, get your buffs as normal. The one thing that's different is that instead of using the scanner to find the two areas that you're going to put your bombs in, what you're going to do instead is when Tannic spawns, his engines, you're going to actually take all four balls. You're like, wait, well, where do I know where to put them? Well, it's pretty simple. If he, let's say he goes to orange for whatever reason. Okay, let's say that's where he goes. Let's say that you shoot off his cores at orange. Well, you know that it's either then going to go, all the cores are going to go to the remaining four receptacles. And those would be at spawn and in the blue area. And the same thing if he's at spawn or if he's, or if he's at blue. Now, a couple of tips with this. Um, suppressor is obviously going to have to be really quick, but not too quick. If the suppressor is too quick, you could potentially deactivate operator and really mess this run up. Because again, you have to be really key on timing. What I did for this is I ran Anarchy, and I would quickly go for the first two. Then I would wait typically until they got a little closer. Typically, there's two operator balls that will spawn that you have to shoot off. But the biggest thing is wait till they get a little further along until they get closer to putting them in, but not too long, and then take that last one off so they can deposit them. Operator's really gonna have to be on the ball because since you don't have a lot of luxury to have people behind helping out when they're trying to move their cores along, like trying to take some of that radiation buff off, you're gonna need to get people out of their detained balls really, really quickly. So again, the operator's gonna have to be really key. There is no need for scanner. Picking up scanner is important because if you keep scanner, let's say that's the one that's deactivated. Well, then that means the other two won't be deactivated. And if you just keep that one on, let's say you don't do this in one phase, then at that point, you don't have to worry about the suppressor accidentally turning off an augment or something like that. So take the four cores off of Tanix. You can let them sit on the ground for a little bit because again, you're gonna need a long time to get them across. So I would try to take them off as quickly as possible at around the same time. My team, what we did is we typically used, there. we had some people with Anarchy and also maybe a, a backup Nova Bomb just in case. They came out pretty quickly. We let the, the cores count down a little bit so you had a little bit of extra time because again, you don't need to necessarily pick them up immediately. Then what we did is we basically did a roster order and we took numbers one through four. And if you think about it, let's say you're at orange. If you look out from orange, your two areas on your area on your left is going to be spawn. Your area on the right is going to be the blue area. If you look from left to right, then let's say your your first one on your left. Let's say you have the number one countdown. Then you would put things in what was the original one area that is within spawn. Then two, then three, then four. And again, same thing if you're in a different area. And that just makes it really easy to figure out where you need to take the cores to. Take the cores across. Again, timing is going to be really tight put them in. If you run out of operator or suppressor, make sure you put the augment in. The good thing is you don't have to swap it out because by the time you get through the DPS phase, it'll already be changed over and you can pick it back up. The augment timeout will have already timed out. Then as normal, set up with your bubble. And what's the difference here is since you've put all four in at the same time, you actually get three DPS phases. In other words, three phases where the boss is gonna boop you back out. So if you have two bubbles, that'll be helpful because your first bubble will run out to the second phase. And obviously as you're doing uh, DPS, we did this in one phase. We did this primarily with some people having anarchy, people having double slug shotguns where they could, not everyone had that, and one player have divinity. And with that, you can easily one phase a boss and then you'll get the triumph. And that's it. Uh, again, fairly easy. And, and the cool thing about this method is if you get proficient at it, really proficient at it, it's actually a much easier way to do this encounter. However, it requires really tight timing. That's the video, guys. 
I hope you appreciate it. If you did, feel free to like the video and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guardians in the tower.